My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable two-year-old little boy. On our channel, you'll find simple and tasty dinners using everyday ingredients. So for dinner tonight, Howard grilled out some short ribs that I had in my freezer. And this is what I use to marinate the short ribs. And they are really good. We really like this brand. With it, I made some fried rice. And this is a fried rice seasoning mix that I used. I got this from H Mart, which is a Korean grocery store. You get five packets in there and then it tells you that you can use it for soup or fried rice. Um, and I followed the fried rice directions, but I did not put any chicken. So it's just a little bit of green onion in there. And then we are having a side salad. And this is a side salad. This is the kit that I use and it comes with seasoning, dressing, bacon, lettuce, of course, croutons as well. So this is it. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, we are having taco salads using these taco salad shells that I love so much. I've been eating them ever since I was a child. They are really hard to find now, but my mom found me some a while back ago and I just put them in my freezer. You get four flour shells and formers and you bake them and they turn out really, really crunchy. That is so crunchy and flaky. They taste like they're fried, but they're not. Um, and then I am trying out this nacho and taco blend shredded cheese. I've never seen this before. It came from Kroger. You get cheddar and Monterey Jack and it's blended with spices. And then my favorite taco seasoning is this one from Trader Joe's. Um, one packet seasons two pounds of meat and it gives you directions on the back how to use the taco seasoning. It is spicy. So if you have kiddos that are sensitive to spice, it may be too spicy for them but I always pour mine out in a jar and then I just use it that way. So this is what it looks like. Lots of herbs and spices in there. So this is my taco salad. On the bottom, I have lettuce, I have um, the taco meat, and I'm actually using ground turkey. We're trying to eat a little bit healthier. And then I've got cheese and salsa. And this is Howard, he has the same thing, except he added sour cream. His avocados were not ready to use, so he is very sad about that, of course. And then the salsa that I am using is this Mateo's. Um, I like it, I find it at Kroger, I mean not Kroger, Costco, but you can find it anywhere. Of course, it's a lot cheaper at Kroger. Um, Costco, sorry, it, you can find it anywhere, but it's cheaper at Costco. All right, so this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, I am making turkey thighs in the crock pot. So um, at the bottom of my crock pot, I've got two onions that I chopped up, and then on top of that, I added two turkey um, thighs that I browned on top of the stove. So in Texas, and I'm sure other places, but you can just buy turkey thighs by themselves. And I got these at Walmart and I had them in my freezer. And so now I'm getting ready to add a package of onion soup mix. I've never made my turkey thighs like this, but just wanted to give this a try. And I'm just gonna sprinkle this onion soup mix right on top. And then I'm just gonna cover these and let them cook on low for about, probably about seven, eight hours. I forgot to mention the garlic butter. Um, so I use this Kerrygold garlic and herb butter. I've had it in my fridge for a while. I had probably like six tablespoons. So I just decided to throw that on top of the turkey thighs. Okay, so here are our turkey thighs. Like I said, I let these um, cook for eight hours on low. That darkness you see on top is the Lipton onion soup mix. It kind of caramelized in there. Um, with it, I am serving some mashed potatoes. And then I was gonna make a green vegetable. I just didn't feel like it. I just made some corn to go on the side. And so these turkey thighs are really big. So Howard and I are splitting one. And then let me show you, there's one left in the crock pot and you can see all that juice that it made, all that gravy. I didn't add any water to it at all. But we've got one more to eat. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So we are having a pantry and freezer meal for dinner tonight. My pantry is starting to get way too full, so I need to get back on track. So we are having this tempura shrimp from Costco. 
and this is what the box looks like but i threw the box away to make room in my freezer and in my pantry um i had this um package of cheddar and broccoli rice sides which i really like a lot it's been in my pantry for a while and i needed to use it and then we had some leftover corn in the fridge that needed to be used too so quick and easy dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time so I'm kind of making up a dinner tonight. I don't have a recipe for this. I'm kind of throwing it together, but I'll make sure to write down what I do in the description box. So in my freezer, I had some beef smoked sausage and all I did was just chop it into rounds. And then what I'm going to do is saute my sausage along with some frozen peppers and frozen onions that I had in my freezer. I'm not gonna use all of these, but um, I'm gonna use some of them gonna saute them and get them all brown along with the sausage. I'm gonna use some garlic powder and onion powder to season. And then I'm going to use some rice and some chicken broth, but I have this bouillon, so of course I'll add water to it. But that's all I'm gonna do. It's gonna be a really quick skillet meal. Okay, so I fried up my sausage and veggies and got them all nice and brown. I did add a little bit of olive oil in there as well too. So now I'm adding in my water and I'm going to add in my bouillon and I'm just going to give this a good stir. I'm going to cover it and adding just a smidge more. I'm going to cover it up and let it simmer probably maybe for about 20 minutes. I'm not sure. Kind of making this up as I go along. Okay, so here is dinner all plated up. I did not feel like making a vegetable, so uh, we're just having this, but it is really good. And like I said, I'll make sure to write down um, what I did in the description box. It's very tasty. This would be good with um, turkey sausage or chicken sausage, but I will definitely be making this again. So this is what we're having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time.